Hello and welcome back to a really nice matchup between Justice and Excellence. Justice now leading 2-0, but like you said, Blitz, Excellence has been performing well on that, so maybe they'll make a comeback here. They need to because this is a spot for MOG League. Yeah, this is, I mean, the pressure is certainly on. They, oh, really, they could have won both games. Yeah. Uh, they, they easily could have. They've been so, so, so tight. Um, Snipedown having a big game, too, there. I didn't even see what he ended up. I think he was 11-3 and three or somewhere in that ballpark yeah. uh, to end that one, which is a really good performance from a guy that is pretty new to the S&D right. game, only been playing this game for a few months. But uh, we're waiting for one more player to load in for Justice. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Blitz maps. Uh, comes down a ton to aggression and gun skill. Yeah, this is really, really cool because you get to see a lot of different strategies coming in here, a lot of different pushes, uh, but it's all about dominating map control. It's so big here, being so close paced, as well as just winning your individual gunfights. But you got to keep pushing up and not even really worry about kills, but just gaining map position and yeah. then the kills will come over that. Unfortunately, we will have host ended for the third time in this series. Having Fourth trouble, time. Yeah, having trouble getting all <laughs> the players into this one. Man. So just a quick reset. But as far as what to expect, uh, I mean, I don't know. I've seen a lot of... A lot of solid sub play out. I mean, obviously, this should right. be four sub on four sub. I, I don't yeah, think I, we're going to see any so, others. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're at that point in the open bracket. We're not seeing you know, three Bulldogs no. in S&D. <laughs> no, you're not going to see crazy stuff like that. Uh, you know, honestly, my favorite going into this map has to be Excellence because I've seen Justice play Blitz. They just don't perform well, especially on this map. Blitz, I mean, they're okay on, like, Warhawk uh, or, or, you know, uh, maps like that. But whenever you're talking about uh, Justice playing here on Freight, they didn't do well, and I'm just going based upon last night. They got beat pretty bad, I think, like 15 to 6. Yeah, that's, well, that's tough, tough, yeah. tough loss. But so. uh, a lot of very good sub players on both rosters. So we'll see how this one matches up. You know, the I guess, I guess you can call it the meta, but really just the, the game <laughs> style of word. Blitz has right. changed pretty significantly yes. over the last like month or so. I mean, it used to be... EG kind of was the one that set the tone. They never lost Blitz right. ever. Uh, it was all about just really good communication, rotations, covering your house, and then pushing out. But what we've seen here, at least what I've seen in the championship bracket a bit and open, is it's just become a race. I mean, it's yeah. just constantly pushing, 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 just trying to trade, 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 and eventually kind of wheel with that lead. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of what I'm looking to see in this one. Yeah, aggression definitely is going to pay forward here on a map like Blitz Freight. And uh, also being that sneaky beaver, uh, you know, the main places you want to push right now on Justice side, you want to attack red, get red control, and even attack white as well. Because the main pushes from the opposite side where Excellent's going to be on, they're going to be pushing red, trying to go maybe crates, and then hop down, uh, either going from top beer down to bottom beer and getting the capture, going all the way around on the flank. And uh, white control as well as big. Not really underground as much. You know, we saw that in the beginning, but nobody really utilizes that anymore. Well, Snipe down here will be on board with him. Two early kills here from Justice. Should see some aggression from the mid-map, but Snipe down going to be able to clean up one kill. Another one pushing towards the b down, but he will be shot in the back. This is going to be down, pushing forward. Can't win that gunfight. Good defense out of Cosmo. Still going to be sitting at 0-0. Zero, zero. Yep, still sitting at 0-0. Zero, zero. Just trading off kills right now, trying to get some map control from both sides here as we see Twiz with the AR. Surprisingly going to be up top uh, Owens here, and this is a really big power position. He just goes down and uh, gets a nice capture to bring the score one to one now as uh, there was an answer back from accuracy he's not doing too bad himself rocking that vector pushing up and he's going to be attacking white one of those crucial spots yeah was that twiz with the ar a lot twiz of times you'll the just see them do that off the break he hasn't died yet i'm pretty sure as soon as he's drops you will see a sub spawn I out hope. of him uh get some shots in the guy b not able to clean that up diabolic with a two-piece twiz Going to clean up Diabolic. A minute into this one, 2-1 advantage right now for the members of Excellence. They have to win this one, unfortunately, they are going to be yep. hanging out at Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Disneyland's not a bad place to be no, either, no. but I'd rather be an MLG. That, right that's there. true. I mean, at least here, if you do get knocked out of the event, uh, it's like, what, a mile away? Not yeah, even. Not even a mile yeah. away. Just go over there hang out with Mickey Mouse and, uh, and whoever else. Goofy over there. I look like Goofy. It is what it is. I'm, yeah, he's, already, resemble, he's already here. Resemble him a bit, but uh, two down, <laughs> making three down there uh, for X. Excellence. Cosmo in a gunfight here, <laughs> almost able to reload and still get that kill as Sin. Some suspect shots there. Doubt trying to push up top. We'll get taken out. I love that route to get this oh, cap. That, that jump through is huge. Oh. And Twiz, I, I guess maybe he is going to continue to run an AR. And you know, that's interesting with the overkill, rocking the AR as well as a vector. I guess the best of both worlds, but I mean, this is such a fast paced game mode as well as map that that AR really doesn't work unless you're playing Search and Destroy here on, a, or even maybe even Domination sometimes. But now, even then, we see four subs. So, Twiz. 
Riz really setting a standard now uh, for, for an AR work. I don't know, but 2-2 two, is going to be the score. Bielfire on your screen pushing forward. It is going to be two down once again, so we'll see if he can uh, get a capture. His response now are going to be over on red. He does have a little wiggle room to get in here. He only really has one to beat. He should be yeah. able to cap here. He's going to see him. Sniped out hiding in the corner, so that should be an easy cap for him. Going to fly through. 3-2 uh, advantage now for Justice. Good play there by Bielfire. Unfortunately, the positioning from Snipe down a little lackluster. He saw him poking out. Yeah, and uh, Cosmo now bottom beer as well. He's looking to make a capture here if he can. This is such a crucial spot to be in because really you can just uh, relay some captures up here and really not be known at all as we see Justice heating up. Now three go down once again as, uh, or excuse me, Excellence, my bad, is going to be bringing up three up as uh, Justice now just fighting for some opposition. They're really turtling right now basically because oh, of force two, but a nice look at that tie Bollock. Look at this Crusher guy going off. Can he get, get all four? Oh, oh. man. Good effort there, though. I mean, he did enough damage in the base here to at least allow yeah. his team to get four, uh, get a fourth cap and also get a cross mid map to right. continue to apply pressure. Uh, Kazuo up top here in the middle will drop. Uh, that's a good rebound there by Sin and crew to push out of the base, but unfortunately that three-piece did lead to two caps, and they will be, uh, well, the lead will be to two now as well. We see now some nice gunfights going in as Accuracy takes it. There's going to be a player from Justice who's going to be up top, Owens. I believe that's going to be BL Fire. Actually, he's going to be bottom here, just poking in. Spots one player. Big gunfight win there as he takes out Diabolic. One of his players has scored. He's going to be going for the – oh, and Cosmo comes up from the back, taking him out, and that was a big kill there because he could have relayed, and that's going to mean excellence. They're going to maintain their lead by just one minute and 20 left. It's been a fast-paced game here. Smokes are starting to go down as a new meta is starting to be played here. And we'll just see what they're going to be up to. Well, as this a one's been uh, not, not as fast-paced as no. some of those. I mean, I've and seen, it hasn't. I've seen them like 15 to 20 caps in the first two and a half minutes a couple times this weekend, which was just absurd. But not not as fast-paced here. They've been trying to do the more standard, you know, get two, three down, move across mid-map, kind of play a layered game and uh, work those blitz caps. But the lead will extend to two here for excellence. Diablo going to lose that gunfight. Only 45 seconds left to go and uh, make that seven caps here for them. Yeah, seven caps. So 7-4 seven, is uh, excellent. Starting to look really good. Like I said, Justice just doesn't perform well on this map. And uh, Excellence, they're playing some good COD at this moment as they're just constantly pushing up. And, and, and you know, the funny thing is, is I think Justice right now is probably on uh, probably on the better side, too, of this map. So surprisingly, they're not doing as good as I was expecting. Twiz, though, with a nice assist as another capture goes in. And Twiz can bring it down 6-7 here. This is going to be a big kill up front as well as a big two-piece. Can he get it? No, he cannot get shut down. And uh, I think that's going to be all she wrote probably for both sides until we go second half. Yeah, like they tried to pre-fire that back wall. Unfortunately, he chose the wrong side, not <laughs> able to get both players. But the yeah, time will wind down. Uh, I don't think anyone in no. great position. Well, maybe the Hypolic actually. Now, he Wait might be able to get plenty of time. Good job. Extends the lead to three as the final seconds tick away. Huge job by him. I didn't think he'd be able to make it in time, but make he quick did. work of that one. Well, we never doubt the Hypolic, right? <laughs> he goes big. 18 and 10 with two captures. And uh, going into second half, being up by three is not a lot, not a little either. You know, Justice, uh, you know, you just can't afford the trade at that point. And I think Justice now is going to be on probably the more unfavored side. But then again, they have more wiggle room with attacking crates, which is a great position to go. We'll see a lot of that probably coming in uh, from them on that side. Who do you want to start on board? I, Brandy, oh, Bollock? God. Uh, that, that, that's uh, as much as he's crushing. That, that works for me at 18 and 10. But yeah. I think Justice is going to win this one. I mean, just really? all weekend I've seen – I swear it's so back and forth with what side teams prefer, but what I've seen is the side Justice is on now, teams have been doing the most damage all weekend long for the okay. games I've casted. They been getting in, doing a really good job spawn killing. So I, I could see a comeback potentially in the works here. Okay, well, let's see if you're right here. As a Twiz looking to make the first capture here, does get taken out. Oh, he was up top wide right here. It's going to be pushed up. Diabolic. And Diabolic is just always in the face of Team Justice. I mean, even though he gets taken out, I mean, he's just constantly there, leaving Justice to think, like, man, where's this guy going to be next? Snipe down with a nice kill as well, as we're just going to see some map control going down. And uh, Snipe down in a good position here to maybe get some cutoff points. Yeah, he's got a good spot here. Uh, that is one cap for Justice, so the comeback has begun. Only down two right now. Nice shots with Snipe down with a vector across map. They're able to clean up one accuracy. Last alive for excellence. It's probably going to end up being another cap here for Justice. So the comeback, uh, they got to be getting a little nervous here. If you're excellence, they're losing those gunfights in and around their base. Bielfire fire in huge position here to either cap or just be a nuisance. He's definitely going to fire one through, and now it's only a one-cap game. And uh, excellence has to be really careful here about not getting too desperate pushing up and just really not worrying about map control. BL Fire with some crucial kills kills here. Gets one of them, but uh, I think well, one of them may have slipped through. Nope, still 7-8 now. Is, yeah, uh, Twiz, I think his teammate was able to clean up that guy that was flooding through. One is pushing through the top, and uh, accuracy here 
has a chance to score, no. but took his time. Check mid-map and will get flanked there and drop. Still down one, 3.20 to go here. Just looking across the cage, really, it's still Diabolic, the only one that really stands out for either That's side. That's it. I mean, 21 and 15 currently for him, and just looking at the rest of the team, nobody really going or shining. I mean, other than Snethon is 18 and 14, but even so, Diabolic is just really overshadowing yeah, everybody. Yeah, uh, BL Fire, I mean, from a cap standpoint, he's leading the way with caps. Yeah, 12 definitely. and 14 with five caps is obviously hugely respectable. He's having one heck of a game, but... Uh, this one, I really just think this is justice is to lose. Even though you see via the Oracle, there, there's a couple caps that may be coming in for excellence right now. Basically, all of their players are on the other side. Yeah, they are. And so we see Diabolic looking to make in and a slide into the DMs. Unfortunately, he was denied. You know, it always hurts to get denied. However, accuracy, though, is going to go in. Oh, wait a second. Shut wow, down. By twist. twist. That hurts. Place. Just getting on that spot. Shutting it down so he could not make the slide in. And uh, they put a cap in at the same time. So they're only going to be down one halfway through this second side. It's, it's going to be a really tight one. It is definitely going to be a tight one. Nine to eight is going to be it as both players or both teams, excuse me, just fighting it out for map advantage as well. She's trying to get that lead. And I want to stay on board with Twiz. He's going to be attacking crates here. He's going to have some opposition in front of him. That's one of them. Uh, I'm going to assume there is another player pushing the left-hand side. Actually manages to get away for it a brief second before accuracy shuts him down. And at this point, Justice just trying to get the aggression up. But they got to be careful. But no, three go down from the team. But a nice stun comes in to stop Dow from capturing for the moment time. And uh, sorry, I hear some eruptions from Alpha over there. I'm not sure what's going on in the Envy Curse Black Series, but I think it really is a tight one. Under two to go here. Down opening the front door. There is a player playing defense on the right. Going to be able to clean that up. He's had one coming in the back door. I, a little bob and weave there, but unfortunately <laughs> he had a guy to the right as well, but he will be uh -oh. bait for his teammate to fire one through. Tie game. I was seeing a comeback. It's going to be close. You've seen it, Maven. It F might happen Final here. Final 90 seconds. 9-9. Nine, nine. Final 90 seconds. Another score goes in. Justice for the first time. Actually, I think in this whole entire uh, map here has taken the lead 10 to 9 by 1 Bielfire looking to make it 11 to 11. 9 yes he does as uh, excellence they're just starting to get really really desperate at this point pushing forward trying to get that map control but they're not getting anywhere because players like Sin Twiz and Bielfire are just shutting them down yeah, really good job at the end here. Good nice. defense, good overextensions by the couple players that have been able to sneak through. I think that was Bielfire, I think, that had the nice nice route yep. to cap that one. Uh, under 60 seconds to go here. Another nice Sam. route. Oh, God, he's going to have an engagement here. Will he get Ooh, right? No, he's able to get the lunge down. with the knife. And now the problem is he's going to make these players worry about him, which is going to mean they can't push these caps. They desperately need up three, and this one's what? Uh, 20 seconds or so for being yeah, mathematically impossible. Three, yeah, it's about mathematically impossible almost. They're almost to the point where they can only tie it, and a bit from there uh, quickly is going to be that's going to be a win for Team Justice as the tides have turned. And Maven, this is the dagger he gets to send it's over. You, you are the goat of predictions. It's done. Justice has just taken it. I, how'd you do that? Uh, well, just both sides. The entire every game I've done here right. uh, for Blitz Freight. Usually it's a preference thing, but for the most part, every team has been doing much, much better with the caps when pushing into beer. And uh, nothing new here. I mean, look at the swing. What was it? A three-cap lead and yep. a winning by four. So yep. seven-cap swing there. Uh, not and surprised. And the same thing with Surge, too. Yeah, I've, I've casted a ton of justice during the Season 2 League, and they, they prefer this side. They play much better. And, I mean, look at Diabolic, who's 18 and 10, first side, ends up 26 and 23. Right. They just struggled uh, from a slaying standpoint on that second side. Yeah, great stuff coming in from Justice. The 3 0 team excellence. They had a great run, but just falling short of that MLB That's league. our second team now into the that top is, four, Rise I believe. So, yeah, Rise and Justice. And Justice. Uh, Justice, one that was there before. Happy to see them back. Yes. Uh, Rise, a team that I think should have been there at first yeah. and wasn't. Felt snubbed a little bit. Now they've made their way into Season 3. Uh, up next, we're going to have Optic Nation yep. and Fuse, which will be another fight, I believe, for four, top four. four. We're start, top. starting to round That's this out. That's a big one. Yep, so uh, stay tuned. We will be gone just a little bit. Not sure exactly what time the next match is starting, but we're going to get the guys together, give them a little warm-up time, and we'll be bringing you Optic Nation versus Fuse. Stay tuned.